What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a zoom transition like Sam Calder in Vegas Pro 14. So the video you saw at the start, this is the edited version right here as you'll see. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is the zoom out transition. So head over to your event pan and crop. From here have sync cursor checked, have size about center checked and have lock aspect ratio checked. From there just simply zoom in a little bit like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to the end and then come back five keyframes. So you can use the arrow on your keyboard. So I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. Then what you're going to do is press this button to lay down another keyframe with this perspective here. We're going to come to the very last keyframe. We're going to right click and select restore. So you'll see if you watch the video, we've already got the perspective of a zooming out like that. Now, if you come back to this keyframe where we zoomed in, right click it and select copy and then we're going to head over to the next video you have we're basically going to be doing the opposite to what we've just done so we're going to come back to the event pan and crop and from the the first keyframe this time we're going to press Control v this is going to be the keyframe we just copied then we're going to come across one two three four five and then we're going to right click and select restore now you'll see i'm going to play this through <laughs> That is what we have. Now, another thing you're going to do, head back to the event pan and crop, highlight all of the uh, keyframes, right click one of them and select smooth. This will just make that transition much smoother. And again, same for the other one here, highlight them, right click and select smooth. So now I'm going to be moving on to the zoom in transmission. The first keyframe on the second video, we're just going to press control C to copy it. We're going to come to the end and we're gonna go back five keyframes again. So you'll see I'm at 315 here, so I need to go back to 10, and then simply lay down a keyframe, and then at the end of this, you're gonna press Control V to paste it in. Now you'll see this is already set to smooth because we've already copied and pasted the frame. Now, we're also gonna be zooming in a bit more than normal, so we're gonna left click and drag it in a bit like that. Now we can X out of this, head over to our next video, the first keyframe is going to be default, then come across five keyframes again, and then we're going to zoom it in a little bit like that. Not too much this time, but just like that. Again, this time we will need to right click, select smooth, and same for the first keyframe as well. And then this is what we have. So the first transition uh, from this to Chicago, this is the city I'm using, um, it will be the zooming out. Then from Chicago to this sunset, it's going to be the zooming in transition. So I'm going to play this through for you and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to show you something else which is completely optional if you want to do it or not. To me, I think it looks much more smoother and it looks better if you do add it, but again it's optional. So we're going to head over to video effects. If you don't see it, then come to view windows layout and select default layout. Now from video effects, you're going to come down until you see Gaussian blur. You can see it is right here. Now it's completely optional which one you use. You can either use a medium or a light blur. For this, I'm going to be using the medium blur. I'm simply going to drag and drop it onto our video and you'll see it will be blurry. Don't panic. Just turn this completely to zero. Then come to the animation button and you're going to come right to the end and then you're going to select the medium blur like so. Then you're going to come back five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to turn these to zero like that. Now, if I play this through by frame by frame, you'll see that is the effect it will give us. So as we are zooming out, the frame is also blurring at the same time. It just makes it look a lot better. Then for the next video, we're going to add on the medium blur. So this time, press the animation buttons. The blur is going to start on the first keyframe. We're then going to come across to five frames here, and we're going to set this to zero, like so. 
Then of course, the transition happens again on the exact same video clip. So what we're going to do, we're going to come to uh, come to the end then go back five frames and you're going to select lay down a keyframe here. Then you're going to come to the end and you're going to select medium blur. So it's back to normal. Now you'll see here that there is a mistake. The vertical range didn't turn down. So turn it down and make sure you see both of the dots here and also there. And then of course the final one, I'm just going to drag and drop it on, press the animation buttons again, keyframe on the first one, come across five keyframes, turn it all the way down and then it's complete. So if I play across with frames again, you'll see it's going to zoom out, blur, and it's also going to be blurred here, but then it's going to come into a nice sharp image. Same when we come to the end. So this is the zooming in transition. This time as we zoom in, it's going to blur and you'll see it also blur like so. So I'm going to play this through for you the final time, and this is the final version. And that is how it looks. Now you'll see I did use medium blur, it is visible. You can choose how thick you want this blur to look. So you'll see if I come over to the effect again, the blur for medium blur is at 0 0.0600. Of course, you can always adjust this slider to choose how you want the blur to look. So you can choose it. Um, personally, I prefer medium blur, but whatever works best for you, of course, you can adjust the settings. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.